Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading. I'm going to make this quick. Uh, thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, we have um, the Queen of Pentacles. We have Disappointment, the Five of Cups. We have Temperance. We have King of Cups. And then we have Queen of Cups here. Okay, so all of the good stuff coming to you Aquarius, it looks like eventually at the right time and the perfect timing you will have a husband or a wife okay you will have someone to love you will have some you will be ready to love the person that you um want to be with will be ready to love also it just seems as if both of you are not on the same wavelength there's somebody here who's still entertaining ex or other women or other men there's somebody here who's not you know satisfied within themselves there's someone here who's still soul searching there's somebody here who knows that they can deal with a lot of different people so they do um or somebody's going to come to a determination that they don't want that anymore that what they want is the aquarius aquarius right now you should be focused on yourself growth and nurturing yourself you're you're doing a lot you're doing a lot to make money coming up with different ways of how to bring in more money different streams of income you could have children you nurturing them you could have plants and you could just be really wanting to get back to earth you could be studying horticulture or just learning how to grow or grow your hair grow this grow that you're just really focusing and double down and on yourself like just just really energy for you self uh moving forward uh, just growth altogether. Some of you could be pregnant. You could be like maybe the last trimester getting ready to give birth. This is a very fertile time in, in your life right now. So things could be growing again, lots of growth. Um, you could even become impregnated. You are desiring a more committed relationship and it says you will eventually get it at the perfect timing at the right timing. There's an energy where in the temperance card, it's kind of just like in the high with the hierophant. It is um, the universe trying to balance out two very different individuals and bring them together. You're the queen of pentacles. They're the king of cups. You see, you're at the end suit. We all want to be at the pentacle suit. That's the end of the line, right? You're the queen of pentacles. Um, so you're, you're doing right now. You're doing a lot. And you're doing a lot for self. And you're really grounded, you know, a really practical, a strong you could be, you know, just in an energy of um, uh, nurturing, caring, or caregiver, uh, luxury, uh, doing things around the home. Uh, you just settle. You settle within yourself. The King of Cups is not. The King of Cups, it's like sometimes they'll depict the planet Jupiter there in the background. This person is still, you know, they're still spinning. They're still going around. They're still entertaining they like to pull from the past this is a person who um is very controlled within their emotions therefore they know how to be good in different situations or do good or get good out of every situation they could easily manipulate this is a person who um could even be cultured or in maybe some type of capacity where they deal with a lot of personalities and they're good at it so they could be a manager or they could be a manager in terms of music or I don't know. This could be somebody here who just knows how to manipulate the emotions to get the outcome that they want. So they're just not really settled just right now. Um, and they're extremely this is somebody just not settled you know, not settled, you're settled, queen of pentacles, they're not, you know, things, they come, the emotions, they come and they go, they're not settled with the king of cups. Um, this person may know that they love you, like you, want to be with you, but then those type of emotions come up for another person. I love that person. I like them. I want to be with them. And then for another, so it's just, it's, they're still on a roundabout. They're still in a place of still trying to expand. Get get more or get more. I don't know. Like, I don't know. They could be trying to get more money, get more women or men. 
it's two different energies and the universe is trying to bring these two energies together with the temperance card um, masculine feminine energy in the temperance card balance complete balance equilibrium also talks about maybe a healthy wealthy marriage coming together but not right now you know not with the temperance card maybe you'll find that you'll find your person or they'll come back or if this is the past person uh, maybe around Scorpio Sagittarius season I don't know it's like you're doing a lot for yourself and this person is still trying to figure out a lot in terms of spirituality oh so they could be in like this spiritual journey this little spiritual trip where they have to really figure themselves out um, they have to really mirror what is what's inside of them it's just like they're like trying to they're going through the motions of like maybe i'm not the best person or maybe i haven't done or so they're in that energy and you're in the energy of i'm making money i'm going to start this i'm going to start that i'm growing this i'm that i'm you know you're so you both were just on two different wavelengths the queen of cups though here looks like you eventually get on the same wavelength where you both are in the energy of maybe um this could be a very spiritual connection um where you're in the energy of uh love and devotion and caring and um emotion and um you you can um kind of build with one another that way you both i don't know got nine of cups in two different decks you both are wishing for one another you both want each other back or you want a new person i don't know this is energy of the past though so if you don't want somebody back from the past then you should click off but looks like somebody from the past is coming back um they feel like you're the one you make them happy they want a happy life with you they want to make something official uh, they want reunion um, they're stuck on you this relationship is going to last they're going to move this forward they may even want to propose to you but the both of you are having to get rid of something individually individually not together so the both of you are having to release relinquish and get rid of something maybe ego your ego some type of ego both of you have to heal something with within yourselves you're gonna have to do it alone get a lot of cards of alone not together and then you can come back to one another it looks like it could be like a twin flame soulmate life partner whatever type of relationship it looks like a masculine is going to come back and um, trying to make something official. Be right. Do the right thing. It's going to be t not taking no for an answer. This person is really wanting this. Not giving up. They're watching you now, but they know that they aren't right for you. Something has to end within them. Something about the ego. The ego competition within self. Um, the, all of this so I don't know this it could be you it could be the other person somebody operates in a lot of lawlessness like no order you're just out of order could be the king of cups just does what they want they're kind of whimsical uh, this person could have always wanted to marry you always wanted to be with you they let something else or somebody else come in between the relationship looks like all of that's going to end they will pop the question they will propose after a period of you guys not talking they're definitely going to come back and want to heal this and, and talk about the future because they have a big love for you whomever this is it could be you masculine you want to go back to somebody and you're going to show them or that you cared, you want them back, or, or vice versa. But it looks like you both are just not on the same mindset right now. You know, you want two different things. And there's somebody who cannot let go of the past or all of these different energies, all these different people right now. Um, so we get somebody who's single, and then we get somebody who's just, you know, they for everybody right now. 
um, that you both are wishing and hoping that we get the chance to come back to one another. Getting what you wish for, what you think you want also. The circumstances between you two is just other outside energies. You love one another, you like one another, the chemistry is there, but it's always an outside influence. Whether it's another romantic partner, it's other people, it's a mom, it's a dad, it's a this, it's a that. It's like somebody doesn't know how to structure a relationship, structure the relationship. Like they don't know how to let, not let anything come in between. There's no hierarchy, there's no regard. It's making it hard to maintain a relationship because someone feels like, you know, things could be going good and then somebody just allows for it to, this is sabotage, this could even be self-sabotage. Somebody just allows for a reversal to happen. I don't know, someone is uh, extremely, um, Immature, bad behavior, petty, drama filled. Let's see. One last card for Aquarius. I'm gonna close this out. It looks like a, a relationship from the past is gonna come back to you. Not right now, but uh, it's like the universe is trying to get you both to on the same le wavelength. Get you both in the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody's overweight. Now this could be overweight in terms of just doing too much. You have too much. So it could be the king of cups, just overweighted in the romantic department. Got too many people. Wow, can't make it up. Overly sexual and overly aggressive. So somebody's just, again, king of cups just out here for everybody. Just, he, he's got too many people. And this person is single and wanting a committed relationship. And this person is like, I'm here for the fun of things, you know? This is somebody who's older who's been doing this for a while. They could even be having an affair with a coworker. Wow, can't make this up. And they don't they don't take breaks between relationships. They just jump to to and fro. And then there is somebody here with the five of cups there on the outside of this relationship. Who it could be another woman or a man. They'll do anything to keep this person trapped in a relationship. And, and for my masculines, there's some woman here that's trying to do anything to keep you stuck with her or stuck on her or come back to her. So that's what we have. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Get your own personal reading over at the website level. Readings are 40% off. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you want to connect with me in regards to your business venture idea, you can do so. Go ahead and book your complimentary discovery call. You can also join other like-minded individuals every month for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where we talk about all things business and personal, excuse me, business. We talk about all things business by using practical and spiritual method. Okay, so sign up for that. Um, take advantage of that. Uh, and if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always give back. You could buy me a coffee. I'm going for one right now. Uh, the link is below. Um, buy Ella coffee if, you, if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you again. Take care.